anything else? Uh, so locking, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. lock contention is a big thing for us right now. Um, so as I was saying with this Cassandra stuff, whenever you vote on a, a link in a popular subreddit, it has to lock on that whole subreddit's listing. And so an example of that biting us recently, we have, we have these lock, uh, these vote queue processors, and all they do is they get that queue item that says that somebody's cast a vote. So mm -hmm. you basically have a set of machines that are reading from this. Right. So all of these app servers are writing, you know, a vote happened to the queue. Right. And then you've got a bunch of machines that are reading from the queue. And what they do is they sit there, they pull that out, and then they say, okay, that means I have to update these listings and I have to record the vote in Postgres and Cassandra. And, and they go through all this stuff and that involves a lot of the locking in here right now. And so we had, we had a lot of these queue processors up for votes and we get a lot of votes simultaneously so we need a lot of them. But we had too many it turned out and they were all fighting each other for those locks. And just having the number of those queue processors actually sped up queue processing in general. You need enough queue processors to actually handle yeah. the depth of the queue, but if you have too many, they spend too much time fighting each other. Right. And one of the ways we're working on that is we're getting rid of the locking in the Cassandra stuff. And we're trying to get rid of locks as much as possible in general. Locking is a, is a it, it's, it's a common theme. You know, in, in Python itself, when we first switched <laughs> to Amazon, we had this weird issue where Python's multi-threading, you know, doing two, running two threads at once, doing two, running two pieces of your program at the same time, is not state of the art, would be a nice way of putting it. Um, and Python was spending so much time locking its data structures so two threads could access the same data structure at the same time that it was actually slowing down the, the, the computer's ability to read traffic over the network, which was causing it to spend more time uh, switching between threads, it, it, it created this weird network CPU thrashing issue. Um, where the way we solved that at the time was um, we just made Python single threaded mm -hmm. and we only handle one request at the same time. Right. I think you guys are probably still doing that. Yeah, yeah. We, we very rarely use threaded processes. The ad servers use threads, but otherwise, other than that, we just have lots of separate processes. You guys run lots of processes on one machine. Yeah. And, and the OS then can do the task switching for you. Um, and the OS is, you know, Linux these days is pretty good at it. Yeah, and, and they spend a lot of their time waiting for something in the back end, so. Well, this is really great. Thank you so much for coming. Um, Absolutely. One thing I'd like to point out is that everything we've talked about here, the, the, the main things, Memcache, Zookeeper, Cassandra, Hadoop, um, AMQP, Nginx, HAProxy, this is all free software. It's pretty wild how far you can get without paying for anything. Like, the thing that you have to pay for is, are the computers to run this stuff, mm -hmm. but all the software and all the code behind all the software is online and free. Also, the vast majority of Reddit's code is also open source and online. So if you want to yes. look at this stuff, um, what's the URL for that? Uh, GitHub.com slash Reddit. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to make a hole right in the middle of our picture <laughs> here. If you go into this code, um, they switched to Git. Uh, oh, we switched to Git at some point. My name isn't on a lot of this code anymore, but if you go in there, you will see a lot of the code we've written in this class for like hashing and passwords and, and all of that stuff. Actually, like it exists in Reddit somewhere. It's really common. Uh, it's really common stuff. That's cool. Um, and, and you can see, I guess, all of this stuff. And there's also a Reddit mailing list where people discuss, you know, these architecture changes and that sort yep. of thing. Thanks again. You know, good That's job. Cool. It's it's been watching you guys um, grow Reddit has been really cool. Um, you know, th there there were some dark days, and you guys have really done a, 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 an amazing job growing that site. It's really impressive. Well, it wouldn't be where it is without you. So thanks. So, all right, guys. <laughs> um, thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.